straight to the bankers and the monopolies who are living, taking huge profits from the debt. I've only been in the NHS for one year, but I've worked out that with working longer and paying more into my pension and getting less, this is going to cost me over £60,000. And that's money that George Osborne wants to give to the bankers. Well, I'm not prepared to give my money to the bankers to pay for the mess that they've created. As a physiotherapist, my contributions will go up um, by £784 a year. This is on top of the pay freeze and rising household bills. Even some of the lower paid staff can expect to pay £200 extra a year. The money goes to the Treasury to pay off the national debt that neither you or I cause. 68, too late, we won't work till we drop. If you ring an ambulance, do you really want a 68-year-old geriatric paramedic turning up who can't actually carry out CPR on people because our knees aren't working anymore? So we're saying enough is enough. We've had brilliant support for our strike from all our members in all the unions at the London Ambulance Service. The attacks on the public sector are coming thick and fast now and it's going to need more than just today's action if we're going to fight to turn back the tide of the attacks that the Tories are throwing at us. So solidarity to all you lot, guys. And I think the message is not just written capitalist system, which is now here also. We've had the buses openly disclosed. When you're under pressure at work and from your managers to feel that you should keep services running and other colleagues are saying, what's the point? It's really important to remember that we do have an impact. And I bring the hospital staff greetings from the community staff, the health visitors, the school nurses, the district nurses, our community nursery nurses, etc. Make no mistake, they want to reduce our pensions and streamline our service so that we're right for privatisation. Uh, I'm a retired nurse. I've got a decent pension because the generation before me fought for a decent pension. We have to fight to keep that pension and for a decent pension for the next generation. So in a solidarity across the working class, solidarity across the generations. We want to leave a better world for our children. I'm 50 years old. When I retire, my pension's worth nothing. Looking at you guys. Your hours have been attacked. Your pay and conditions have been attacked. And now they want your future? No! no! An increase in the contributions, which doesn't go to your pensions at all, is a cut in wages. It's pure and simple. That's what they're doing. And that's why I 100% support the strike. And I wish you all the best of luck with it. Save our pensions! Save our pensions! Save our future! Cameron, before he was Prime Minister, years before he was Prime Minister, was saying that he wanted to get rid of public sector pensions because they're gold-plated. Are your pensions gold-plated? No! Are you going to believe that you could live on your pensions when you retire? No! All they are doing is lying. They lie through their teeth. People are unions, unions are people. Who is to blame for this? Government. Who is to blame for this? The government. 68, too late. We won't work till we drop. 68.